Keeping it in moderation is the biggest fucking lie on this planet. As long as you keep it in moderation, you'll be fine. Don't listen to the motherfuckers like that because they don't even fucking do that shit in moderation themselves, most likely. And if they are, quote unquote, doing it in moderation, how the fuck do you even know? And if so, you know that shit is meant to go down a rabbit hole. So if this is porn, okay? This is why I used to tell myself when it came to porn, I said all the time, as long as I keep it in moderation, I'll be fine. As long as I just watch it a couple times, I'll be fine. That didn't fucking work. That did not work one goddamn bit. It only led me down the hole even worse. I just kept di digging a hole that was bigger and bigger and was getting deeper and deeper every time I did that shit. And guess what? My fucking confidence went downhill. My energy was shit. I didn't want to do anything. And that's the purpose of these companies like Pornhub, X videos, all these fucking sites. They're doing this on purpose. They want you to stay stuck. They want you to not feel at your best. They don't want you to succeed. They're so scarce of everything that you're going to level up so fucking fast and take what's theirs. It's so fucked. Like, they're actually bitches, these companies. So, literally, that's why when somebody says, oh, keep it in moderation, that's a weak motherfucker. Like, literally. Because how do you even know if they're actually doing it in moderation? And once again, if they really are, like, what the fuck are you going to get out of it if you keep it in moderation? Don't you want to hit new levels? Don't you want to be better? Because that person that is saying that is only at a level of certain characteristics of certain things that have happened in their life and they are just expressing what's on them to you. So if they do it in moderation, they're not going to say, oh, you should uh, not do it every day or, or uh, fucking not do it um, just every now and then. They're going to say exactly what the fuck they're doing, if anything, or they may just exaggerate because they're a little fucking bitch. So depending upon the person, of course. Literally, do what you think is right. Feel what feels right to you. It's a big fucking lie, though, of how it's, oh, keep it in moderation and you'll be good. Like, literally. Then you're going to stay stuck. You're either increasing or decreasing based off your fucking baseline of what actions, choices, decisions that you are making every single fucking day. So if you want to go rub your fucking dick 10 times a day, and then you're able to control that, good for you, bro. But literally, it's going to take a lot of fucking energy away from your purpose, your direction. It should always be about purpose overall anyways. Why the fuck are you even involved in that shit? It makes no sense, to be honest. It's all a fucking lie. Used to say that shit all the time. Anytime that I find myself being in comfort or just even just scrolling on TikTok or, or fucking being on social media, I feel it. Like, it was the same shit when I felt it with porn or bad food. Like, that was my shit, my vices that I would use. So, literally, this shit would just feel... I would feel so groggy and just tired. I wouldn't want to do anything but that, just on repeat. And my mind would find ways, those pathways of saying, oh, you should go do this, meaning in the sense of, Go watch porn or go eat that burger. Go eat that slice of pizza. You've been working so hard, Nick. Like you're telling yourself lies. It's just lies. It's just lies you're telling yourself over and over again. It's just you don't want it that bad of actually cutting this shit out because you're scared of losing the vice of what you're holding on to. You're still holding on to your old self. You're still holding on to that old you and you don't desire and want to hit those new levels. You don't want something so bad out of this life, even though you have one life in this fucking bitch and you have to make the goddamn best of it, starting with you. So how do you do that? By cutting the shit out, going cold turkey or whatever the fuck you have to do to restrict yourself from these vices. And again, porn, especially it's there. It's fast, bro. It's fast. It's not like with the drink, you have to go to the store even or go to the bar to get a drink or for drugs, the same thing. Like you have to go to a dealer to get them or through somebody that you know, X, Y, Z, right? Like your phone, we all have our phones. So we have access to this shit super fucking fast, like the fastest in this fucking world. 
Even if you just hear some fucking sounds from if you have people that you live with and they have the TV on in the background and you hear some moans, your brain starts to think already like that's porn. If your brain is on fucking porn, like that's how quick this shit fucking is. That makes you be like, oh, I got to go do this shit because that's what the fuck happened with me all the fucking time. So the vices are there to keep you stuck, to keep you weak and the moderation bullshit is all a fucking lie. There is no such thing as fucking balance. It's either you're all in or you're just still attached to the vices. If you're all in, you will start to see your life level up in all fucking aspects. That's what it did for mine, especially when it came to my physique, my mindset, and the people that I hung around. And just shit just honestly just flowing into my life and happening to me. Like, in all regards. And it was so crazy. It all starts with... Seeing, okay, I dug this hole, I need to get out of this hole, you actually admitting that you need the change, right? It's like the 12 steps to sober, some shit, even though like that shit, I don't like know that shit like 100%, don't quote me on that shit, and I don't know the exact program, but the first thing is admitting that you have the problem. If you don't even admit that you're in this situation that Oh, I can't just keep doing it in moderation. Like, just end the fucking video here. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm talking to somebody who is going through some shit and wants to actually fucking change right now because of the circumstances of what's going on in their life and they can't take it for another goddamn fucking minute. That was me. I couldn't take this shit for another minute. I looked like shit, felt like shit. My confidence was just destroyed. I didn't want to do anything with my life. I was trying to do something big and it just wasn't there. And it was because my energy was going elsewhere. And then I just had to cut everything out. And once I cut everything out, I had to keep doing it over and over. And I still do it to this day. And you have to keep doing it over and over and over again. Because it can always come back. It can always go back to fucking porn. It can always go back to eating bad food on repeat over and over again. Those food companies are out there. Like these restaurants, these uh, the McDonald's, all these fucking things like... All these uh, franchises, they're always going to be there. It's just up to you to make the choice of you actually having it. Having that self-discipline, that self-control at the end of the day to know, hey, I know where that's going to lead to if I do this. So when you get to that point, it's so fucking easy. To, it's like you're looking from above. You're so above it all that you can see, hey, this is a good choice. This is a bad choice. I don't need this. I need this. I need to do this. That's when you get to that level of fucking awareness instead of saying like, oh, I'll just keep it all in moderation. I'll be fine. Like you're still fucking attached to it. That's why you're fucking saying that shit in the first place. And just admit it. You just don't want to fucking change. You don't want. You're not in enough fucking pain. You're not. You haven't been hit enough yet. You uh, keep getting fucked up more. Like keep watching more porn. Watch it on fucking repeat. Like watch. Watch more videos. Watch more, I, all these porn stars and shit getting butt fucked. Like, by some shit that you, like, your physique looks like fucking ass compared to these motherfuckers. Like, literally. Like, you have a gut. Like, you're, you're overweight. You feel like shit. Like, do you really think you're gonna get a chick like that? Do you really think that's how sex works? You really think that's how this shit is just, oh, this is how, oh, she does this and then that's it? No! Like, literally. But keep watching it. Keep watching it. But for that motherfucker that is in so much pain, that just doesn't, can't take it anymore, this shit is life or death for you. You can't listen to people who are saying, oh, keep it in moderation. It's not for that. Everybody that's on my team, they always come in a really immense pain. Can't take it anymore. Vices, holding them back, drinking. Fucking drugs. Fucking all this shit. And they had to make a change. They had to make this shit happen for themselves because they couldn't take it anymore. They had to. This is what I'm talking about. You have to actually make the commitment, the sacrifice to actually make it work and be in enough pain from everything of what you're doing to your life to actually make that change. That's how old this shit fucking works to get real results, to get that motivation, that discipline, everything in check for yourself. It all started with myself and then other people just came in. And we'll do the same for you. We'll get you going ASAP. DM me Beast on IG for coaching. And we'll get you. 
That's it. Hit that next level real fucking quick. This shit's fucking easy once you have this shit mastered and you know exactly the blueprint for what the fuck you got to do. Because I I had so many fucking addictions like in the past. Now this shit's so easy. I know how the, all this shit works. It's so fucking easy. You just need the proper guidance, the direction, and that mindset. And we'll get you covered. This shit is fucking light work. It's easy money. Easy money. Everybody's stacking wins, getting results. They don't want this shit no more. Everybody on the team, they're telling me, they're like, Nick, I don't want to go back to my old ways. I, don't, I didn't want that drink. And I'm like, yo, you wonder why, right? And they're like, yeah, like literally, it's just because of everything that I've been doing. And then I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. Like you're too, you're getting too up here. Like that's how it is. This is what happens. And I'll show you exactly how. Let's fucking get this shit. DM me, DM me Beast on IG and we'll get you going.